you are craving wache, you have to eat Pringles first. <laughs> Because we're eating Pringles yeah. right here, like. We'll give you free publicity, <laughs> Pringles. Bye. Okay, as we come put you on. Wait, we went to business Pringles. school for creative <laughs> industries. <laughs> to Z study hub your home for scholarships university applications and generally studying abroad yep. today we are talking about something really important and if you're planning on studying abroad or working abroad then you definitely have to watch this video till the end and what's more important about today's video is that I have a friend of mine chief and we're gonna have this conversation and it is our candid opinion and so what we're asking is is traveling or studying abroad worth it so we're going to be sharing a candid opinion. We are not going to sugarcoat anything, and we're just going to say it as it is, so that you can get to make your own decision. I don't know for those who know of you who do not know Chief. I'm just going to let Chief give him, introduce himself briefly, and then we can get it rolling. Hi guys. So my name is Chief. Um, I'm a Chief Name Scholar. Uh, 2019, right? 2019, 2020. Yes. Z was in my cohort year. You know we, we we've been friends since the day of our interview actually i remember meeting her at the british high coffee she just sat seated and i asked her you know how the interview was going to go and everything so i mean we've been friends since then so i will i saw her in ghana and we when we got our our scholarships you know we were all like we went through the process together then when we got to england we linked up a couple of times so this is this is no fluke. You yes, understand? we have know what we are talking about. <laughs> so, what did you study and where did you study? Oh, I studied global media management at the Business School for Creative Industries (UCAF). So, uh, what did you study and where did you study? I studied a Master of Science in Media Communication and oh, Development solid. at the London School of Economics. Solid. And so, it's basically we the same field. Mm -hmm. So, we studied similar stuff yeah. and so um yes yeah, so we're just gonna straight to it but please if you have not subscribed make sure you hit the subscribe button in order to see all of the useful information that i will be sharing this channel on yeah. studying abroad and getting scholarships and so make sure you subscribe and you have if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below and make sure you share the video so chief mm -hmm. is studying or working abroad worth it 100 percent, 100 percent. personally uh, i think as as we we read, there's no there's no greater education, education than travel. Than travel. So imagine traveling to a different uh, um, place or a, a different environment to you know acquire knowledge. I, I think it's worth it. Yeah. First on the list for me is um the fact that it broadens your world view. Okay, as they say, travel and see. Mm -hmm. In your town, you think you are gangalia. When they see, when you see, nobody sees. You know. But when you travel, it, it exposes your senses, your, your taste buds, number one, your ability to survive, number two. It helps mm. you build character. It helps you understand that you are not the only person in this world. So you need to open up to new experiences. So that's for me. The world view, the way it broadens your world view. Yeah, you know, it does. Because, um, you know, it's, you, you likely or you, if you living in one place you have a tendency to think that oh you get comfortable mm -hmm. and they think that's about it but when you travel you learn new things you meet new people you get exposed to new ideas exactly. you question yourself and what you know yeah. and then that's also a great learning opportunity mm -hmm. it serves as a learning curve for you yeah. so i totally agree with that mm -hmm. and it's very interesting that you made that the first thing <laughs> the first point mm -hmm. and that just really shows that it's not just about the hardcore things but it's also the soft skills yeah it's totally because you need a salt to get through the heart. That's the thing. You, you have no idea. Yeah. If you are craving watching, you have to eat Pringles first. Because <laughs> we're eating Pringles yeah. right here. Like. We'll give you free publicity, <laughs> Pringles. Bye. Okay, as we come put you on. Wait, we went to business school for creative <laughs> industries. <laughs> yeah, so so it, it, it sort of yeah. broadens your worldview, which is a mm -hmm. good thing. Um, So... That's it for both working and studying. You yeah. get these benefits. Yeah. 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 And and so for education, mm -hmm. I I'm also big on the quality of the education. True. I think that I mean, you know, yeah. like it's I mean, we, we, we are not sitting here to wash out anybody's dirty linen in public, but you will hear it when it's bad. 
have. <laughs> yeah. You know, so the quality of education is fantastic. I mean, don't be too, like, don't expect, you know, some, you know, hard body yeah. stuff. It's it's flexible. That it's 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 marvelous in a flexible way, you mm -hmm. understand. But you will feel if you tried it. Yeah. That one day. It's really intense. Mm -hmm. But the good thing is that you have the support system, so exactly. you have the resources exactly. available. And and again, it sort of makes you especially for, at least for my course mm -hmm. it made me question a lot of things it makes you really critical mm -hmm. because it makes you ask questions yeah. so it goes beyond that you poor pass and forget exactly. things so you have to because you know. it sort of gives you an ability there's, there's, there's this day where we do self-learning mm. i don't know if you, you guys are saying the, the, yeah you do you learn on your own on your on the timetable so it's like reading week it's exactly so it yeah. tests you it tests you like are you going to learn yeah this yeah. is this is this is london there's wi-fi yeah. everywhere and you know like how it, it's just different like and because there are also lots of people or lots of students from various parts of the world mm -hmm. you're sitting in a seminar and everyone is sort of bringing up ideas exactly. and everyone is like exactly super intelligent exactly. and you it, uh, so and, it's great and, and the learning is very practical too as well because i remember we were, we were working on campaigns in integrated marketing calls or so mm. then the examples were all about costa and House of Fraser or something. I don't, know, I don't remember. Bro, I'm from Ghana. What's Costa? You know, but then it's it sort of like my worldview was yeah. like, okay, okay, so there's a world outside Azar Paints. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know, for, for me as an advertiser, I should be yeah. thinking, I should be, I should be fluid and forward. So, so it's just it's, so the quality of it. That's it. The, 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 the quality and the the practicality of the education. You know? Okay. You won't learn things that you see around. It's mm. just really about. And even with theory, I did a lot of theory. Mm. And even with that, it sort of makes you pull things from different angles. So mm. this particular theory said this. This theory said that. That theory said this. For instance, okay, we may be going a bit in depth, but things that I learned in passing mm. during my undergrad um, in Ghana, I think mm. that I delved a lot deeper True. into learning. So the third one, which I think comes. With working mostly mm -hmm. is finances Good. very important <laughs> right yeah so i don't even know but i feel like if you come to if you st you're studying abroad mm. you have a number of hours that you can work for mm. i worked yeah. as a student yeah. um and then i made some extra cash exactly. on the side i have made i have this video where i talk about um the kind of ways in which you can earn extra cash as an international student so you can check it out Thank so you. i worked and mm. then i i made extra cash and mm. that's good and if you're so if you're as a student here as a student you can make money if you're here as a worker you can make money we're just talking about the exchange rates bro have you seen it it's just fantastic i also worked as just fantastic <laughs> no, i mean from this point there's nothing i can do it's not it's not it's not it's not something i can change yeah overnight so I mean, it's, it's fantastic if you don't have taste for foreign things. <laughs> mm. But yeah, don't quote me. But what I'm saying is, um, I also worked as a student and I made some extra cash. I was a student ambassador. Yeah. You know? So that's 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 one of the, the one thing too. You get opportunities even as a student. Yeah. You know, if you if you if you put yourself out there, if you endeavor to get these things, you, you can get them. Mm. Were, were you were you a student ambassador as yourself? I was a, I was a class representative. Uh, I was a pro, <laughs> yes, I was a course representative. Yeah. But what I did was I worked at Pret. Okay. I worked at Pret in the okay. kitchen. Mm. I, I worked at it still a little bit, but not much. I worked in the kitchen and I also worked at Amazon. Oh wow! So um, yeah. I didn't get to do Amazon, but yeah. I did. I did work with the NHS at a point as well. So you see, the opportunities are endless. You know, it's just about you cycling yourself and you know it's not like you going you, for it yeah or if you're that that buy you can live until you're fine but when you're here you have to work yeah because the opportunities are and you get to save some money as you said and yeah. you, we all know you can't be abroad and not send some coins to the the, the people yeah the, the family, family that, friends. you know and that's really important it's important it's that's important, important that you are able to you know make something for yourself and for yeah and for me also i'm just thinking about it in this way um so if you finish school mm -hmm. and you do not find a job and then you decide to travel abroad and if that is where you'd find a job 
why not travel then sit at home and be unemployed exactly exactly and i think i think that um, to be fair most of people are not traveling because they they, they, they don't have the, the means but that is why you created this channel yeah right so guys consume the stuff on here you mm. know we didn't have the means either <laughs> i tell you that's true i tell you yeah i tell you we didn't we have to, the means you just we had, had to, to go through some vigorous processes yeah, to yeah, get here yeah, we took the go by the horn charlie so guys that's it on that note i i think chief since you're here because mm. sometimes we talk about scholarships people tend to not understand mm -hmm. the kind of work you have to do to get a scholarship oh. but maybe some scholarships won't come every scholarship comes with a Come, doesn't I come think easy. So. I think so. And a scholarship like Chief, and then it's mm. like on another level of scrutiny, and <laughs> you know. So, so just to emphasize that people need to be willing to do the work because that's sometimes the challenge I face when it comes to yeah. encouraging people to, who want to get scholarships because some people don't really understand the level of commitment that comes with. You, you guys, I mean, Chief then is fantastic. Scholarships are good because guess what? You go to school for free. But before you go to school for free, you need to prove to them why they should pay for you. So clearly, you need to stand out of the bunch. So for us, for instance, for Chivenen, I mean, those who, any, anybody interested would know that Chivenen was like, it's rigorous. Like now it's even worse than the time we were in, right? So you, you just have to distinguish yourself, make sure that you are ready for the battle. And it's not like when you go, you get it. You will be put on reserve. You can't be even told next year we'll give you and all of that. So it's 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 an uphill climb, but yeah. that's why you you have to you know psych yourself up and put in the work. So it won't come easy. All yeah. this that you're seeing, uh, it's yeah. made from pressure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's, it's a lot of work in the background. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. what's the next thing? I what I'm just thinking right now mm. is the fact that. I don't know about everyone, but me, I, I'm not ashamed to say that I like the soft life. But why would right? really you like this? <laughs> yeah, so so sometimes when you, people would, when you're abroad, it's not easy. Mm. But then again, there's a soft life part of it. Yeah. You know, there are certain things that you don't have to struggle for. Mm -hmm. um, like electricity. Yes, like electricity, it like transportation. Off. Exactly, you get to where you want to go to. You know, Can struggling like with trotro. It's, it's stressful. Um, back home sometimes because of the systems that are there and mm -hmm. then how you and me I'll never finish I'll never stop saying this one of the things that worries me pa is walking from my <laughs> walking from my house walking from my house <laughs> to I, the junction I, I remember I remember you mentioned it at the achievement uh, event yes like it, the road is bad how, it is how, how long how long was that like maybe 10 minutes and but it's which, bad. which neighborhood next side Actually, like, yes so i mean the, so the, some the of the roads are wet. good like <laughs> it's bad like it's 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 really bad it's bad oh, bad man. bad the long and short of it is that when you are abroad there are certain things basic necessities that you don't have to worry about, worry about. Yeah, and but, that's a good thing yeah but there's one thing that goes without saying the culture sh the culture shock, shock. Is, is is there it's there so i mean you 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 face things that you know you never imagined to face but it's all part of the learning process yeah. then there's no place like home honestly but where do you call home is it where you're comfortable or where you're mighty efficient yeah. so it's really up to you yeah so and since we are being candid what would you say are some of the negatives negatives of studying abroad or working abroad negatives abroad. the negatives is that it gets too cold man weather yeah it gets too cold but i remember my my professor telling me there's nothing there's no such thing as bad weather only bad clothing yeah so if you are if you're strapped you're fine because people have lived here worked and make made a life out, out for, for themselves yeah. the thing about human beings is that wherever you put a human being they'll mm -hmm. complain okay yeah, yeah. so it. so it's okay it's yeah. okay to find not to agree with people or us or whatever yeah these are personal experiences they could be different for you so it's okay yeah. so i mean i guess too cold you get to you you miss home you yeah, look watch is 10 pounds that's why i don't like watch watch is 10 pounds it's 10 pounds man i bring up my hair it. 
I ran my hair for 15 pounds. Even, <laughs> even though Uncle, she said 20 pounds, and because she's a Ghanaian woman, I paid yeah, her 15 like pounds. You. And 15 pounds, if you convert it, that's like 230 something cities. In Ghana, I braid my hair for like 15 Ghana. Bro, a haircut, is like, a, haircut is, a haircut is like 20 pounds, so I'm surprised that then the woman is good. Not time. braid, though. Corn roll, Corn just roll. my hair. <laughs> just my hair, like not with braids or any other uh, thing. Maybe. Just my hair for like a couple uh, of maybe. minutes and she but, was done. But I mean, it's, 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 we have to also understand that is the yeah. is the standard of living here. And it's different. Yeah. I can't pay her yeah. less than you can't that. Pay you can't pay her like five pounds. That's disgusting. It's, 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 it's minimum wage and stuff. So yeah, that's it. That's about it for me. Yeah, and I also think that things like Charlie, it's home is home. You know, you don't question yourself. Mm -hmm. um if you fit in sometimes mm -hmm. and maybe uh, people keep asking you where you're from mm -hmm. um or just feeling like i don't i don't know if you remember i told you that yeah. in some time ago some when the i was a student so there is imposter syndrome mm -hmm. but then also i had an experience where one woman was racist she told me that all black people smell um she she, she's not even <laughs> british anyway but yeah she's it, it's a long story yeah. but it's just that feeling and there's also imposter syndrome sometimes mm -hmm. you know do you feel feel that way yeah sometimes? you know usually on you know maybe one sunday one random one sunday you know you just feel like oh my goodness where am, who am i am i do i deserve to be here you know you yeah. sort of sort of but that's the thing even in ghana your brain will attack you sometimes yeah that's yeah. The, that's why i want people to understand it's not it's not about convenience seeking it's just that you you know you, you need to understand that these things will come so that you you prepare for, for, for them right mm -hmm. so that's that's really about it yeah and oh i, I guess that's about to say and, and the culture shock it might sound really basic but for me the u in the uk one of the culture shock that i had when i came was the and I put, no offense to anyone who smokes how much people smoke in the uk it's not the same as ghana yeah you know i think all. in ghana is it it's, it's not allowed for you to smoke yeah, in public. because ghana don't judge you with their eyes <laughs> <laughs> it's not allowed for you to smoke in public but um so it was a culture shock to me. Mm -hmm. I really don't have anything with it mm -hmm. against anyone who smoked, but it was a culture shock to me. Yeah. Uh, for instance, you go to campus and then, you know, before entering the library, maybe someone is outside the library smoking, you know, so it's it was like, okay, this yeah. is different. They actually give you smoke breaks, you know, from, yeah. from classes and everything. But I think for me, too, one of the culture shock was that the lights never went off. Not even <laughs> once. And then again, the buses were on time. You see, sometimes when people tell you that something will start at a certain time, you feel like, nah, you are kidding, right? Yeah. You know, so you want to delay by 15 minutes. You will be shocked that it would have started, you know. Yeah. So, these things so are So, in like, conclusion, mm -hmm. what would you tell anyone who is contemplating? Don't, don't, don't fear. If you have the resource, if you have the money. I mean, we all want to be global citizens. So, mm. just take the, take the chance. Take Take that bold step that's what i'll tell anybody but yeah. but prepare yourself because this is mama no day here papa no day here <laughs> you know that's true. this is the wilderness yeah you know, it's a concrete jungle where dreams are made of so just yeah. prepare yourself and then come and when you come to don't don't of course don't forget home yeah. remember that that's something i really love as well um that's an african song no matter where you go, remember the road that leads to, leads to your home. Uh, it's a really nice yeah, song. Yeah. And don't forget home as well. And before, for instance, personally, and I believe Chief 2 is similar mm -hmm. for you. I have projects that I want to do to support my country. And regardless of the fact that I'm not in, in Ghana, I'm still going to work on those projects. Definitely. So you can also contribute to your country's development when you're not there. Definitely. So that shouldn't Definitely. be something that That's the thing. You. In order for you to change or be, like do the change or start the change you have to be in a position where you are able to you can't yeah. you can't change the world as a poor person okay, or so as a, as, from an empty cup. exactly so um, we are not saying that it's totally guaranteed that you become rich when you study abroad but it increases your chances yeah because you, you are going to meet people you can network with people who can facilitate or haste fasten your dream and plans yeah. so that's what we are saying that's it Okay, so thank you so so much chief i really appreciate you coming um yeah thank you so much for uh for watching and if you have not i'm in chief and i have another video mm -hmm. a video that i made on my other channel on yeah. things that we wish we knew in our 20s so if you are in 
um if you're in your 20s go check it out i'm putting a link to that in the description so we are going to sign off right yeah. now if you have any questions let me know i will put chief's instagram handle in the description you can go follow him as well and i will also put a link to your youtube channel yeah yeah, yeah. i mean guys Is you it know active? yeah it's, it's, it's active yeah. i'm active on youtube as well chief i try to be like z but she's so consistent Try. i can't catch up <laughs> so guys thank you very much for watching g thank you for having me this is this is actually the <laughs> second <thing>. <laughs> <laughs> this might be the first because i'm uh, likely to yeah to so this so first. this is actually the first time i'm being on anybody's youtube channel yeah. i had so much fun coming all the way to film with you thank you for coming thank, thank you, you for, for doing this and if you're doing the work and you're trying to study abroad don't be afraid you'll figure it out just start the work or if mm -hmm. you want to work abroad just start the process and you it, it becomes clear as you go this yeah. is now become like my national anthem i tell people that all the time just start and it becomes clear as you go make sure you hit the subscribe button leave your questions and comments in the comment section hit the bell to be notified whenever we post a new video follow me on instagram this study how follow chief as well i'm chief on instagram and follow your chief's youtube channel yeah and remember you miss all the chances you don't take. You so miss please. all the chances. Take a chance. <laughs> take a chance. <laughs> all right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Cheers.